So as we move from the scope to the verify module, a Kanban board helps teams to really focus on what tasks are important to me and then maybe what statuses are actually something that I want to care about. I can start to identify the specific statuses and the tasks just assigned to me. As I make my updates, I can either make them update based on the progress, the task status, or I could even see this Kanban board in a team or a team member view. I could start to then identify which tasks I needed maybe to assign to other people. If I wanted to offload a task to Michelle, I could simply transfer it and it would be assigned to Michelle. This is a really quick an easy way to assign to teams, assign to team members, and also to update the status of the tasks. One of the first and really important things to do in the Kanban board would be to change the column grouping to be your preference. In this case, it's status that I'm interested in. I would set a filter to determine exactly what I'm looking for and what I want to be able to review. Also, one other is the ability to select a milestone. In this case, I'm going to choose the 3D coordination milestone, which are these two tasks that I have defined. Quickly, I can drill down into the tasks that are important to me. Clicking on them, I can open them and identify exactly what the details are that I need to provide. When I'm ready and I'm pleased that I've completed this task, I can set it to be completed. As we incorporate 3D models, an automated step for checking of those requirements can be done. That will automate the downstream workflow as well. Let's take a look in the next videos. Kanban boards are a powerful way to understand progress of tasks, understand ball in court, and have a simple way to update the status of everything that you're working on. Remember, don't plan late, plan early with Planoly.